Hi everybody, I'm uh, Kyle. Um, nice to meet you all today. I'm here on behalf of a friend of mine, Mark, who um, is, is massive in voices. He's fantastic. You know, get out there, listen to his stuff. He's fantastic. And he's actually asked me today to put his, um, like a blog scenario, he's already written a blog for his website, Mark A. McCormick. VO.co.uk. Please go to that. It's got all his reels, all his demos, everything that he's done as a present and where he's going in his life and where he's going with his career. So he's asked me today um, to talk about his um, career and how it developed from now recording his stuff, but how, specifically how he started. That's the biggest thing. How he got the inspiration. He's actually wrote this in a blog. And you can see it on his website, markamccormickvo.co.uk. Sorry, I have to keep on saying that. Um, but he wanted to give me the information to pass on to you so it gives you a visual clue of how he started. So, this is how he started. Basically, he was six years old, roughly around that age. And one day, he looked out the window, and it was raining. It was miserable. It was cold, and he hated it. He couldn't go out. He couldn't play. He couldn't do anything like that. So, he had the TV on. And at this point in time, the A-Team came on. Now, back in the 1980s, there were great TV shows with great backdrops, as he says to me. Backdrops meaning the, how, where, where the locations were. And mostly the locations, especially on the A-Team, on this occasion, they had a filming in California, which um, had one, have wonderful beaches. And all Mark could see when he watched this, Visual clue, watch this, he saw the sun shining, the beach, it was always warm. He, he wanted a part of that. He wanted that. And he noticed that it was always, the sun was always shining in America. He, that's what he thought at six years old. He thought that America was this land where it's, all it was was sunshine every day. There was no rain, they didn't have snow, they didn't have all the other elements. So he looked out the window and he saw that, and he saw that on the TV. And he says, with his imagination and actually being bored, as you do when you're a six-year-old, you have an imagination, you want to be something. He, he was strangely said, I want to be an American. So what he decided to do was he started to do an American accent. He started to mimic what he saw off the TV. So if it was the A-Team or it was Knight Rider or... Back to the Future series or anything that was going on, any TV show which was from America, he would watch. Later on, it was The Simpsons and so on and so forth. And he started to develop an accent. He started to do this accent and he started to enjoy doing it. To enjoy creating characters with that accent. And he enjoyed it so much that it became an obsession. That's what he tells me it's an obsession that he had. And he enjoyed it immensely. And what he did next was something. What most most of the things happens when you've got a passion for something, you want to elaborate and do more. So, what happened next was it became a natural thing. So every time he watched the TV, if it was something else, he would say, if it was a program that was done in Scottish, he would say to me, he would say, "Hello there." And he started to do the Scottish accent. And he started to have fun with the Scottish accent. And he started to do that. He picked it from the TV. And because it was a TV program, he forgot about the location. As as his time, as his age grew, as he started to get older, he started to actually see just more the voices and more what he was seeing. He started to mimic what he was hearing on the television. So what was happening, he did the Scottish accent, and what happened next was, he started to watch any type of TV, and he started to mimic, and he started, oh, I like to do that accent. So he started to do that, and then he went like this, I thought, well, if you're from the heart of Liverpool, he started to do the Scouse accent, and he started to have fun with the Scouse accent, and he started to create that type of accent. So if you're Paul McCartney, and you're from the Beatles or anything like that, or if you're a soccer play, soccer, um, a soccer, um, What's the, what's the team? Yeah, they call it football back over there, but it's soccer. And for me, he said it was for him, soccer was the big thing. He was a big soccer fan. He supported Everton. And 
and so he started to do that accent and he started to enjoy doing that so much as well so he started to get that out and what was happening it was developing he was just doing this with passion and enjoyment um and it went on and he started to add other accents and he just started to add characters to the accents so he was like a posh person who started to do something from down in london uh very posh you know uh green green tea cucumber sandwiches and all that sort of thing you know jolly hockey stick so he started to do posh things like that or right down to the courtney eggs in and he started to have fun with that and it was bit by bit he was doing all these different type of accents and it got worse when he was at school he said he was doing the french accent because he was doing french in class he wanted to learn that way so he wanted to get that out there in the world and he wanted people to hear it but people didn't hear it he was too scared to show it to the family, to friends, to people like that because he was scared that he would get laughed at, the people will hate him, people will think he was weird or very strange. So what happened next was he um, kept it quiet and it took him to about 32, 34 when he decided somebody started to laugh when he started to do silly characters and he realised if I don't do something about it I will never underestimated so mark basically did all these different accents different characters he was having fun but he wanted an outlet to put it and now in the last year mark said he's, he's fit if he doesn't do it now he'll never do it and he's in the position where he's doing at this moment in time he's currently doing an audio book and he's currently doing um an animated uh, web series and he's just done an audition and stuff like that and he's doing stuff and he's also videoing stuff and he's just throwing different ideas out there just improvising on the spot spot and just throwing it out there so that's the basis of why he's doing it so mark didn't want to come on camera he just wanted me to do this on behalf of him and you know where it takes him next so be it he's got so many followers on twitter and whatever else but the purpose of why he's doing this is one he wants to he enjoys doing it one of the reactions he wants to do is get a reaction and just make people smile make people laugh have a good time with it if he gets somewhere of it so be it if he doesn't he doesn't it's not you know he doesn't he's not you know that bothered with that but it would be cool if he could if he can get paid for doing something that he enjoys doing. It's taken him 39 years and nearly 40 years and when we go into next year to finally come out the box and make it happen. So help him out. Go on the blog or Mark A. McCormick, VO.co.uk. Look at his website. It's a bit basic at the moment. He's still adding things. But you know, just keep on going on there. Keep supporting him on Twitter. Just helping him out. You know, but you know, he's having fun. So, thank you for your time. Enjoy yourself. And I will close by saying right this. Thanks, guys. Um, that was just a bit of fun. It was just me having... Doing just a simple character just to tell a story about me. Um, and I do appreciate... Enjoy the website. And enjoy whatever I put out there for you guys. That's the main thing. I do it for you. And I do it just for my enjoyment as well. But I do it for your enjoyment. So, thanks, guys. Thank you.